Hi, and welcome back to our strength and conditioning or our advanced level workouts. Today is workout number two. So a couple of quick reminders, make sure you go back and do your mobilities, get the body all nice and warm and loose, come back here and press play, and we'll get started with the workout. The rep scheme, we've got four sets. We have a set of eight, then 10, another set of 10, and a set of 12, okay? And the equipment that you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells, a kettlebell, um, a bench. If you don't have a bench, you can use the floor. Um, something to kneel on, so whether it's a blanket or an Airx pad, something to be comfortable. Um, let's see, we want a band, uh, so an orange band or a red band. And then of course you want your bands up here at a high anchor because we're gonna be doing some straight arm pull downs. And then you want something to step up on, okay? I have a six inch box out because that's what I'm using, but feel free to use any kind of step, box, whatever height is comfortable to you, 12 inches, challenge yourself, okay? So let's get started. This first one is called a kneeling halo, okay? So I'm gonna grab my pad just because it's a little bit more comfortable. All right, so I'm kneeling. I've got my kettlebell, I'm gonna hold it by the handles, okay? Right here underneath my chin, I wanna pull my hips under and I'm gonna circle the weight around my head completely and back at my chin and then around Okay, so you wanna make sure that you don't clock yourself in the head and you're gonna do one in one direction, one in the other, and that's one rep. So we have eight of that. So essentially it's 16 movements, all right? Then we're gonna keep our kettlebell or you can grab your dumbbell either way. <clears throat> and we're gonna do our pullover. So we want a nice big stretch. So I'll show you on the bench because I happen to have one here. If you don't, the floor is totally fine. So you're gonna hold it by the handles, okay? Press your low back into the mat, engage your core. Take three seconds to go back, get a really good stretch, and then pull it up right above the eyes. So three seconds back, big, big stretch, and then pull it up, okay? So you could feel like you're doing little mini crunches with your abs, that's kind of what it should feel like. All right, so then we're gonna go on to our kettlebell plus our band, take it or leave it. So you guys can see this, fantastic. So you're gonna take your band in a circle and have your kettlebell in the middle of it. Reach through the handle of the kettlebell, grab the band, pull it through, and then you have a nice loop and a platform to put your feet, okay? So step on the sides, pick up your kettlebell, and you can take your feet nice and wide, all right? So we're gonna squat down and place the kettlebell on the floor, basically right on the band between your arches. Stand up without it squat down, pick it up. So you get it a little bit more tension up here at the top, makes it a little bit more challenging. Down through the arches, leave it, squat it down and pick it up, okay? So if the orange band doesn't feel like it's enough of a challenge, then feel free to grab the red one, work the challenge, just be careful getting in and out of the bands, all right? And then the last one, this is where you're gonna want your dumbbells, go heavy. Okay, we're on the bench or the floor, either one is fine. And we're gonna alternate our bench presses. So you can start at the top and come down alternating, or you can start down here and go up to the top. Either way, you have eight on each arm. So challenge yourself, um, go heavy, work your range of motion. So again, we have eight, then we repeat for 10, another set of 10, and then a set of 12. Those exercises are done, all right. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of higher volume. So we have five rounds of these exercises. Uh, I had to just double check that. So we have a set of 10, then we have a set of 15, we have a set of 20, a set of 25, and a set of 30. So we're really gonna get the heart rate up and we're really gonna work here in the higher intensity section of the workout, okay? So we're gonna grab our bands. And I'm just grabbing the orange one because it happened to be the closest. If you want to be a rock star and use the red one or the blue one, you know, have at it. Either way, the key to this is slight hinge in those hips, reach the biceps alongside the ears, thumbs are up, okay? So you notice that the triangle here with the band is a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow, and I'm gonna pull down and apart across the tops of my thighs, making the base of that triangle wider. So reach up, down and pull apart down and pull apart, okay? So you're gonna do those for 10, all right? Then we're gonna do dumbbell single leg step-ups. So we're gonna grab our dumbbells. So 
In an ideal world, if I had everything set up, I'd be using a 12 inch step and I would have you know, heavier weights, but we're gonna just use what we have. So one foot on the box, keep the back leg straight, just up and touch, down, up and touch, down, up and touch, okay? So you have 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. And then we're gonna grab our kettlebell. You can also grab a dumbbell. Um, and we're gonna do suitcase walk the planks. So what that means is we're down in a crouch position, we're heel to toe, and we're gonna take 10 steps forward, walk in that plank, and then we're gonna take 10 steps backward, gaze is forward, heel to toe, and then you're gonna switch hands, do 10 forward and 10 backwards, okay? So those exercises, we're gonna do for a set of 10, then 15, then 20, then 25, and then 30, and then you'll be done, and really you will be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout, and I look forward to seeing you back here for more soon. Bye for now.